Good morning. Welcome to Sunny Sunday's messages for your week ahead. So I'm still here in San Miguel de Allende. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. We've had rain this week. I hope it's been um, showering with blessings of rain for you uh, in this last week. So I have your messages. This week you need to choose between the numbers one, two, three, and four. So consider the number one, two, three, and four, and I'll give you the, your message for this coming week. So for those of you who choose number one, your message is Karma of Kutakala. Karma of Kutakala. So this message is a really powerful message about following your most innermost passionate desires and really forgetting about everything else. And what is most important and the most passionate and the most connected in your heart you need to do that and you need to do that straight away and there is no delay about this and you need to rise in what is the most passionate thing for you to do at this point in your life and it's not about um, just continuing to randomly follow your heart so it's just not about just going from place to place oh yes I'm following my heart and it's all good but it's a real practicalness about it so it's about what is it that I really am passionate about and really taking concrete steps to do that what is really practical about this calling that you have what do you really really want to do and go do that this week but really put some substance behind it and some practicalness behind it so um, enjoy. Those of you who chose number two for this week, your card is Earth. So the Earth is super old. We don't know exactly how old it is, but it's massively old. This is ancient Earth. And to many native peoples all around the world, the Earth provides healing and sustenance and source and it's really really important um, because we used to not wear shoes and we used to feel the groundedness and the and the electromagnetic fields from the earth and we used to be able to connect more deeply to the earth this message for you for this week is take your shoes off get in the soil get in the sand get in whatever as much as you can this week get grounded so this is the message for you is to get grounded into the earth and you also it's a message that there is a new project coming for you for this week um, and the importance about considering taking on this project is your groundedness to that. So how grounded can you be, how practical can you be about this new um, project that you're wanting to initiate or that is coming to you, how grounded can you be within that? So get your shoes off, get grounded, get in nature and then also get grounded about the upcoming projects that you're working on this week. Enjoy, everybody. So for those of you who chose number three, your card for this week is the Mandala of the Heart. So the heart guides everything that we do. And if we really tune into our heart, our, our heart will guide us further and much further than we ever think is possible. The message for you this week is to get into your divine feminine. So we all have masculine and feminine traits within us and you need to tap into your divine feminine and that flow and that love of the heart and how can you embrace that more in your life so that everything flows more fluidly. So stepping back into your heart, back into the divine feminine and know that everything is going to flow in creation for you. How can you get more creative this week and how can you flow more this week and get into that beautiful feminine um, receiving mode so that your heart can guide you further and wider than you ever thought is possible. So enjoy. And the last card, so number four, for those of you who choose number four, is the wild horse. So the wild horse is also a very grounded source, but horses are highly, highly sensitive, highly emotional people. And this message for you is to embrace your sensitivity. You are a super sensitive person. You um, understand, like feel the emotions around you, you get it. But what's really important um, is to be able to manage 
um, that sensitivity. So how can you manage that sensitivity of those around you this week? So the message is for you to get grounded because the horse is a grounded force of the earth. So get grounded. And how can you weave and get structured in your sensitivity? Like how can you be aware and then go, okay, that's theirs, this is mine, that's theirs, this is mine. And, and then be able to use that sensitivity for your own good and for other people around you. So in, enjoy that sensitivity, work on how to embrace it and to love it and to then shine it out to all of those around you. The horse is also about freedom and wildness. So embrace your, your, your freedom this week. How can you feel more free? How can you do more fun things this week? What can you do to um, create kind of like a free inspiration um, for you this week? So enjoy that. And everyone have an amazing, amazing week ahead. I'm just enjoying the morning sunshine here. And I hope you have a beautiful Sunday or, or sleep if you're on the other side of the world. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Big hugs.